you've learned that there are many different um, learning types and delivering types that you must consider when coaching or tutoring a call. The most useful part of the day for me has been that to learn about how everyone has a different style of learning and to implement this in my coaching. Um, it has made me think differently about how to deliver my sessions so that I can use what I've learned today and implement that. So things like the different learning styles, I can think about how other people learn and use that in my delivery. The most useful part of the day for me has been the practical part because I'm quite hands-on person and I quite like to learn by doing. Hi David, thank you for coming. Um, we've now had a partnership with England Handball for six years. Uh, do you want to tell us what that Handball, that, that handball Sports Justice partnership was about? I think recognising after uh, the awarding of the Olympics and a sport that perhaps people didn't recognise, uh, we were a growing governing body that was still very much voluntary run at that point in time and maybe needed to make best use of the demand that was likely to come our way uh, and not having potentially the experience and knowledge of how to grow our coaching courses, how to reach a wider audience. So just felt at the right time to look around and outsource that to an organisation that had been working in that environment for a while and to, uh, to learn from that experience, use that resource uh, whilst helping us to grow in a manageable way that wasn't going to cripple the organisation. So what have been the benefits of working with Sports Structures over that six year period? There's certainly been cost efficiencies, you know, making use of your resource rather than our own resource. Um, the benefits that uh, you know, your knowledge of a wider um, demographic, a wider audience, uh, people that uh, you've learned from other sports, so shared experience. Mm -hmm. uh, it's also been an opportunity to, to train up our own staff, whether that's tutors or you know, people within the organisation to uh, have that longer term ambition if we were ever going to bring it back in house we would have benefited from it. It wasn't just an ongoing reliance on one external organisation. So, uh, but also you know, your own uh, structures, processes, procedures, not having to recreate our own stuff um, and utilise some best practice work in that regard just to get us quicker to the start line rather than starting from scratch and trying to mm -hmm. uh, learn blind. So over those years we've probably given £50,000 back in royalties. How have you invested that to grow handball in, in England? A number of different ways really, obviously some goes into our development side of things, whether that's uh -huh. into development staff, um, whether it's into actually back into the coaching programme itself, uh, also in terms of our performance programme, we're still a very small governing body in, uh -huh. in, in, in the grand scheme of, uh, of sports in this country, but it certainly helped us to invest in different areas, uh -huh. specifically around sort of coach education stuff. So it's gone back into very much the area that it's come from sure. to ensure that's whether that's tutors, whether it's um, new courses, uh, whether it's research to find out actually what customers want, uh, whether it's actually delivering the right sort of CPD and ongoing development for them. So you do a course, that's fine, but how do you keep developing that? So always looking for ways in which to grow our relatively small workforce and make them more and more comfortable and competent to deliver the sport. So over the six years we've seen the Olympics in London and we saw a significant rise in that one day really attractive um, promotional coach education course. Now it's evolved into a longer more educationally uh, structured uh, course and you, you, you're taking that back in-house. Yeah. Um, can you tell me the, the sort of thinking around that? I think we reached a point where we were more established as a governing body, uh -huh. uh, bigger internal resources and structure and uh, I think a, an ability to take that learning and the development stuff that you've given us and, and you know, make it our own. Um, but also I think just recognising that the Olympic bounce had maybe dropped off slightly and now is a good time to, to take that, that back whilst we could manage with the numbers. But also we're going through a point of sort of rationalising our courses now we've gone that blanket mm -hmm. let's have something for everybody yeah. so now very much having a, a coaching pathway with the level one and level two which obviously you were involved in helping to, to, to develop so we've got that accredited version but also still looking at that entry level mm -hmm. um, 
activate us for leader, you know, intro courses that still very much are a big part of what we do because there are still people that are getting introduced to the sport and want to have that initial confidence uh, in terms of delivering it. We've also developed a, a smaller side inversion um, to get over certain things like the, the facility issue. And so that links with a, a better introductory uh, point for, for courses, for coaches and mm. leaders, just felt like the right time. But you know, I guess we couldn't have got to this point without having the partnership in the first place anyway. Super. And what? And now, now we, you know, we'll still work together in the future. Um, what's the sort of legacy that we've left you, um, left Hamble? Numbers first and foremost. There's yeah. certainly more people now than there was when we started, yeah. which is obviously, yeah. which is obviously great. But I think more so is just an understanding of how to deliver, how to uh, structure the courses, how to work with the tutors. You know, which is still a big challenge for us. You know, mm. having a tutor workforce. Um, to be able to deliver the courses and not just rely on one or two people. So ongoing development, I think that's one of the key bits is the need just to look beyond simply training someone up and leaving them to it. How do you then you know, keep them engaged, whether they're a coach, a leader or a tutor? Yeah. Um, but also I think you know, the, the, the basic operational stuff around processes and, and procedures and, and you know, even if it's just course structure, um, how to actually set up courses, which we were never, you know, in that sphere six years ago. We're much more confident in that now, and we've been able to attract people in to take on those roles. And it's just kind of natural um, evolution for us to take that on board now and, and and benefit from the experience and the knowledge that we've gained over the past six years. Well, we've loved the partnership. We've had great fun with it, and we've learned loads. So thank you very much. And, uh, it's worth it.